Okay, so let's stand up here. Open our legs wide, let's do a little warm up. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bend over. Bring your right arm up. Sharon, don't do this one. You should stay bending forward. Inhale, exhale, do the other side. Bend the knees and roll up. Let's do it again. Inhale. Retreat, retreat. Reach. Exhale, bend forward. Sharon, you stay right here. The rest come with me and rotate to your right, bringing the right arm as far back as you can. Bring your left one as far back as you can. Bend the knees and roll up. Inhale in. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bend forward. Now bring your hands to one foot and walk your hands to the other one. Fold head is back. Okay, back to the center. Bend the knees and roll it up. Okay, we are gonna stay right here. Your knees are soft. You inhale, press your shoulder blades back, squeeze and shoulder in, and bring it to the front. So I want you to really focus. You're doing it from your shoulder blades, no arching your back. Okay, your lower body is not moving. You're just squeezing your shoulder blades in and relaxing. You're squeezing shoulder blades in and relaxing. Inhale. Two more times. One more time. Relax your arms, roll your neck to one side. Roll your neck to the other side. Okay, let's do it again. Inhale, bring your arms up. Press your shoulder blades in. Keep your palms facing down, pointing down towards the floor. And now rotate to one side, bring it to the front. Sharon, I'm not sure if it hurts, don't rotate, it stays to the front. But make sure you are pressing the shoulder blades in. It's okay. I already tried to kick it out, she came back. <laughs> and relax, relax the shoulders. Bring your left hand behind you. Press the neck, let's open up those lats. Let's switch to your side, right one goes behind you. Okay, now you're gonna hold it right here. Again, palms are facing down. You're squeezing your shoulder blades in with no arch in your back. Your knees are soft and you're gonna do big circles. I want you to really think about open up the chest so you feel the opening of the pectorals and you're compressing and squeezing your shoulder blades in while your body, lower body stays right in place. So really just squeeze shoulder blades in, little circles. Five, four, three, two. Relax your arms, shake it. Bring your right one in front, stretch it. Make sure your elbow is locked. So you're not bending that elbow. Your shoulders back and down. Now bend the elbow and bring the right elbow towards your left ear. Let's switch to the other one. Shoulder back and down. Left arm is in front. Fill in the stretch. Bend the left elbow and bring it back towards your right ear. Okay, shake your arms. Okay, now you're gonna bring your palms up. And we are gonna do the same thing. Squeeze shoulder blades back. Try to don't bend the elbows. Again, it's just by your retraction of your scapula. 
So you're squeezing in back, back and away from your ears. Keep those palms up. Big circles, squeezing back, squeezing back. Open up that chest. Four, three, two, relax and shake it again. Okay, for, you can stay here with your knees soft, or we are gonna stay on one leg and try to target your core and your balance at the same time. You're gonna inhale, bring your, your palms facing each other, bring your arms up as high as you can. And from here, all you're gonna do is this. You're gonna bring your shoulders to your ears, your shoulders away from your ears. Up and down, so you do it. You raise your shoulders and you create that scapula. Again, it's coming from your upper back. So you don't wanna arch your back. You just elevate your shoulders, bring it, bring it back to the socket. Elevate your shoulders, bring it back to the socket. Up and down. Four more. Four, three, belly button is in, chest is tall. Two, rest, shake your arms. Bring your right arm up, bend the elbow, stretch the tricep. Switch, inhale, exhale. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and grab the bend. If you had a long bend like this, you're gonna hold it on this side. So right hand is 90 degrees. Left one is holding right here. Leave, make sure you leave some room. The same thing if you had this one, okay? I think you will have a little more range with a longer one. So if you have a longer one, we're gonna head and do it, okay? So now, you're gonna hold your elbow, right elbow, right next to your side. Bring your shoulder back and down. Now that elbow, right elbow, never comes out of your side. And you bring it out and you bring it in. And you bring it out and you bring it in. So when you bring it out, again, you're squeezing the shoulder blade in. If you can, go ahead and stay on your right leg so we target your balance of court. Inhale, exhale. Open the book, close the book. The other arm is also working, being eccentric, staying in place, holding the bend. Okay, it's not moving. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake it off. Do you feel it? I really felt this. So again, bring it in front of you, lock it. Bend the elbow, bring it back. Shake it up. Okay, now you're gonna stay on your left leg, no bend, and you're gonna bring one arm up over your head, and one hand is gonna go down and press. They're both going as, back, as far back as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades in. Inhale, press back, press back. So every time your hands go back, you press back. Every time your arms go over your head, you press over your head too, back, squeezing. Again, it's everything coming from your upper back. Make sure your lower back is not arching. You're tall and long. You're looking forward. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four. Three. Two. Rest. Shake your arms. Bring. Bend the knees, bring your hands behind you. Arch your back and press away. So bring your chest up so your upper back is stretching. You also feel a little bit on your lower back. 
bring your chin in and rest. Grab the vein back on. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pulse arm 90 degrees, pulse elbow stuck in your thighs. You're gonna turn your left leg if you want. And now your left arm, your left hand will rotate out while your left elbow is right on your side. Squish all the blades in, pressing with your upper back. Inhale, exhale. Make sure the other hand, the hand is holding the band, the right one is not moving, it's holding strong. Your shoulders are away from your ears. You're squeezing your shoulder blades in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep the elbow right in. Four, three, two, and rest. Shake it off. Good. Okay. Now you're going to keep both knees soft down here on the floor. If you had the longer one, you're going to have it at least a little wider than your shoulder. I prefer to use this, and this is the movement you're going to do. I'm gonna bring your hands back and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades in. Again, your back, lower back is not doing anything. You're just squeezing your shoulder blades in. With this one, it's not gonna be as far, but you do the same motion, squeezing the shoulder blades in, okay? 10 more, 10, nine, Eight, squish all the blades in. Woo. Seven, six, five. You should feel this right in between your shoulder blades and inside your shoulders, knowing your lower back. Keep your knees soft, keep your abs in. One more. And rest. Woo. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Again, bring your right arm up, stretch it. Keep the elbow locked. Bring the right elbow, bring it back. Now switch, bring your left one, pull in. Really let the shoulder blade come off. Bend the elbow, bring it towards your ear. Breathe. Okay. Whew. Let's get on the floor. Let's lie on our uh, back. Make sure the bands are close to you, okay? So first, you're gonna knee soft. You're gonna tuck your pelvic in. So make sure the whole time you're doing this exercise, your lower back is never coming off the floor. So that pelvic is tucking in and your belly is pressing softly, okay? From here, you're gonna bring your arms shoulder level right in front of your chest. I want you, I want you to do is to press up, taking your shoulders off the floor and press down. Bring your shoulders towards the floor. Get up, Coco. Up and down. Up, take your shoulders off the floor. Down, press your shoulders on the floor. Now, when you press the shoulders on the floor, make sure your back, come on this side, make sure your back is lower back. It's not coming off the floor. So press the belly in and squeeze shoulder blades in. Up and down. Up. Two more. One more, reach, 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 and bring it down. Shake it up, open your arms, shoulder level. Bring your arms, bring your legs 90 degrees up and roll in one side, back to the center and the other side. I, in this case, I don't care how low your legs go, 
What I want is to make sure you keep your shoulders flat on the floor. So you're really working on that chest opening. Don't let it come off the floor. So that will be the limiter for how low your legs are gonna go, okay? Hold it down. One more time. Come back to the center. Okay, grab your bend, either one. Place it right in front of your chest. We are gonna do the same thing we did before, the chicken off and in, but this time I want you to keep tension on that bend. So either one, you're gonna make sure there is tension. If you are using your shoulders, you're using your upper back to hold that bend eccentrically in that position. So your arms never close, okay? And from there, you're gonna do the same thing. Inhale, reach up, take your shoulders off the floor. Exhale, bring your shoulders on the floor, squeeze shoulder blade team. Three things I really want you to think about. Your shoulders are always away from your ears. They're back and they're down. Your lower back is always pressing on the floor. And when you bring your arms down, you're squeezing your shoulder blades in. This is a great exercise. Really squeeze in those shoulder blades in while you keep that tension. Rotators love eccentric work. Two more time. One more time. Rest, shake your arms. Ooh, you probably should feel it right between your shoulder blades, right underneath your shoulders. That's where you should feel it. Now let's do it again. You're gonna keep your palms facing down. You'll open your arms shoulder level. You're gonna bring your legs down. I want you, we are gonna start it with your right arm. So your right arm, right shoulder is always down. And you're gonna bring your legs all the way down. But, don't do it or bend the knees more, but I want you to really think about the right shoulders, no coming off. Now turn your palm, your right hand, up to the ceiling. So I want you to turn it up to the ceiling, down towards the floor. Down to the floor, place your palm down on the floor, press the shoulder down, now bring it up and do the same thing. Press down and up, and down, and up. Two more. Turn palms straighten down on the floor, press with your hand, bring it up and do the same thing, press. Your shoulders away from your ears. The only thing is changing is the motion of your palm. Inhale, exhale, bring your legs softly and slowly to the other side. And we're gonna do the same thing, left shoulder is down, press down on the floor, inhale, exhale, bring your palm up and squeeze shoulder blades in. Keep that shoulder down, press, turn your palms up, press. Turn your palms down, press, turn your palm up, press. Keeping the shoulder down, four, Short movement, three, small movement, two, one more time, keep the palm down, bring your hands, bring your legs up, grab your knees and roll your back, in and out. Good, let's turn on our stomach now. Keep the bend next to you. We are gonna do the passes that we've we done in the long, several times. Look at me quick, so you don't have to be picking at the, at the computer. You're gonna keep your feet on the floor. You're gonna keep your knees off the floor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands off the floor and you're passing behind you and you bring it back up and you bring it back down. Your shoulders and your head is off the floor constantly. The only thing is moving is your hands and arms. Sharon, I wish, wish you should probably not do this one. 
skip this one here and just on child pose. Okay, so the rest come with me. Take your knees off the floor. Take your shoulders slightly off. Looking at the floor the whole time. Inhale, bring your arms up. Pass them behind you. Bring it back up, down, but keep your chest off the floor the whole time. Inhale. Exhale. You should not feel it too much in your lower back. It's all upper. The whole upper position, squish all the blades in, grab the bend and pass it. Two more. One more time. And rest. Keep your arms open. You're gonna bring your left leg up and back. And you're gonna bring all your body weight to your right shoulder. Bring your leg as far back as you can. Inhale, exhale, let's switch. Bring your right leg up and back and bring all your body weight to your right, left shoulder now. Bring it back up. Now you're gonna bend 90 degrees your right arm. You're gonna take your left arm off, the left leg off the floor and bring it all the way down. Again, you're leaning on the right shoulder. You should really feel a pectoral stretch. The front of your shoulder and chest on your right side. So lean on the body way as much as you can. You can use your left hand to help you to rotate on the shoulder. Inhale, exhale, relax. Now bend your left arm 90 degrees. You're gonna bring your right leg off the floor bring it on that side and use this hand, your right one, no, that was me, but it's fine, to lean on your left shoulder. Lean on the left shoulder as, low, as much as you can. So you should feel your stretch right here on the chest. Bring it back to the front. Okay, grab the bin again. Grab your bin again. You'll grab it with your hands, right in front of your chest, either one. What I want you to do, look at me, <clears throat> knees off the floor. You're gonna bring your arms above your head and back and bring it above your head again and bring it down, okay? So knees off the floor, feet on the floor, glutes engaged. Take slightly your shoulders and your head up. You're looking at the floor the whole time. Now inhale, take your hands off the floor, press against the band. Bring it all the way behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Bring it back to the front and relax it. Sharon, you could do this in a sitting position so your back doesn't hurt. Just bring it over your head and behind you in a sitting position. Let's do it again. Inhale. Take your hands off the floor. Bring it between your ears. Now bring it back. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Pressing those elbows back and down. And you bring it back in front and you do it again. Go right in the middle. Inhale. Take your hands off the floor. Bring it over behind your head. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. And bring it in front. Do it again. And this side. Stay right there. Sit. Sit this side. Hey, Coco. Sit. Two more times. Squeeze shoulder blades in. And bring it up. One more time. Squeeze shoulder blades in. And relax. Press with your hands and go in child pose. Breathe. Bring both hands walking towards your right side. Bring your hip towards your left. Now walk your hands towards your left and bring your hip towards your right. Wow, time flew by. Back to the center. Now you're gonna stay here with trying to bring your heels all the way towards your, your uh, ankles. Your right arm is reaching as far back as you can. So you're pressing the right shoulder towards the floor. 
You're gonna inhale and bring your left hand under and crossing, reaching as far as you can. So rotate. So your left shoulder is trying to reach the floor while your right one stays reaching forward. You should feel nice stretch. Inhale, bring it forward. Press down. Now bring your right one under and reach it as far back as you can. Try to bring the left shoulder down on the floor. Bring it back to the center. Walk your hands. Let's slowly stand up. Roll up. I want you to do it one more time. One more thing, guys. Two more. Two more. Okay. If you had a long one, great. I think it's better with this one. But like I said, do what you can. I'll show you with both. You're going to hold 90 degrees. So you're pressing. You're squeezing your shoulders. The whole time you're pressing it, where you bring it up, and you bring it to the front. And you bring it up. When you bring it back up, bring it as back as you can. Bring it back to the front and squeeze shoulder blades in. This is the very important part. Squeeze the shoulders back and down. With this one, move a little harder, but you can do it. Bring it up. Bring as far as you can. Bring it to the front. And squeeze the shoulder blades in. You see how my elbows are going back? I'm pressing from the bend. And do it again. Inhale. This is the great one. Bring back. Reach as back as you can. Stretching the shoulders, the chest, bring it forward, bend the elbows and press it back. So press the bend against your chest. Do it again, inhale. Bring your arms up, keep your chest, keep your lower back. I don't want you to do this, okay? It's just your arms going back. You bring it to the front and you squeeze shoulder blades in. Inhale, stretch as far back as you can. Exhale, bring it to the front. It's squeeze all the light in. Two more times. Woo, burns. Stretch, stretch as far back as you can. Bring it to the front and squeeze all the light in. Press the bend against your chest and rest. Woo. This is a great class if you have any kind of shoulder or upper back, upper like in between your shoulder blades pain. This is fantastic. Let's bring your right in front, stretch it. Breathe. Bend the right elbow, bring it to your left ear. Bring it back and press a stretch in all your right side. Bring it up. Let's switch with your right, left one, bring it in front, left elbow is locked, left shoulders back and down. Bend the right elbow, left elbow and bring it to your right ear, bring it back and away from you. Okay, now you're gonna bring both hands behind you, interlock your fingers, push your shoulders away from your ears back and down this position. So you see I'm not here, I'm really squeezing back. Inhale, exhale, bend forward and bring your arms as far up as you can. If you cannot reach your hands, this is a great, try, great time to grab your bend and do it with your bend, okay? So if your chest is tight, this is a great time to grab the bend and do the same thing with your bend. But bring your arms up as high as you can. Relax your hands, bend the knee, look up, and roll up. One more, and I'll let you go. I know I said that before. Grab your right palm, the right hand, the palm of your right hand, and place it on the wall with your fingers pointing towards your right side. So if you are looking at the, at the wall, your fingers are on your, pointing to your right side. You're gonna inhale, and you're gonna rotate your chest away from that hand and shoulder. 
try to keep the elbow locked. Even if you need to take a little bit of your hand off the wall, but lock that elbow, you should feel a really nice stretch on your chest. Now we are gonna to switch to the other side. Grab your left palm, place it on the wall with your fingers pointing towards the left wall. So it's not up or then not down, but parallel towards the left side. Your inhale, exhale, and you rotate your chest away from your hand. So your right shoulder opens out away. You should feel a nice stretch on your biceps and chest on your left side. Let's do a deep breath and we are done, guys. Inhale, reach, reach up, 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 and exhale. One more time, inhale. Can you tell how much mobility we got on our shoulders now? Exhale, good job, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you.